My name is Claire Collins. I'm a Laureate Professor in Nutrition and Dietetics at the University of Newcastle in Australia. I've been writing blog articles for the World Cancer Research Fund for a few years and in fact I've written about five articles already. My current research is on personalised nutrition and that's really important because mostly if you've got a chronic disease, you know, or high blood pressure or you've got a family history of cancer, you go, there you go, there's the standard advice, go away and eat healthy. But in my research, we look at a whole range of factors specific to you, do an assessment of your dietary patterns and go, look at this, let's make some goals that you feel you can live with look at the specific barriers to you and provide counselling just to help you eat better and lower your risk for chronic disease. Personalisation has been a missing link in some of the work that's been done to date and I really think we can really help people improve their risk factors, lower their risk for a whole range of chronic diseases including cancer by using technology to make that part faster and easier. What you eat has a really big impact on your mental health and your well-being and it's only really been recognised in recent years and I think of it as like a triple whammy and that's because the foods that you eat that are associated with better mental health, vegetables and fruit in particular, they contain a lot of nutrients that your brain needs. So if you think about it, if you don't eat them, what are you eating? likely you're eating ultra-processed foods, convenience foods that don't contain those nutrients. So unhealthy dietary patterns has this double effect. You're missing out on the nutrients that your brain really needs. But there's also an unrecognised effect for your mental health when you eat poorly. And that's a lot of processed foods are really soft. And so you don't chew. And there's a body of research showing that the more you chew, the better your brain function. You go, oh, that's really weird, how does that happen? Well, when you chew, you get more blood flow to your brain and more oxygen, but chewing also reduces the production of stress hormones like cortisol. So chewing healthy, basic foods, as boring as it sounds, is actually associated with better overall health and well-being. So that's another bonus reason why, when you head to the supermarket, load up your trolley with all the brightly coloured veggies and fruit, take them home and eat them. My job's quite varied, but my most favourite part is actually the science communication. Once all the research papers are written and they're released, I really take great pleasure in sharing those results with the public and then also translating them into practical advice about what to eat, what to shop, what to cook, how to feed your family. So I'm fortunate that I've been able to do science communication over a very long time in my background as a dietitian and it's morphed even that role. Originally science communication was mostly writing, being interviewed or writing articles for uh, newspapers or, or things like that. But now it's blogs like I do for the World Cancer Research Fund and it's also writing for um, groups like The Conversation who are now a global organisation. But the other area I've taken great pleasure in is using that information to create what are called massive open online courses so we've done one called The Science of Weight Loss, Dispelling Diet Myths and we're able to put into that six week course all the evidence based nutrition information in regard to diets for weight management that I wish every person in the world knew. And it turns out that a lot of people were wishing for that too because we've had 67,000 people from over 180 countries enrol. And that led to a collaboration with my colleagues in Western Australia to create two short ones for health professionals on nutrition communication uh, for chronic disease. So we showed them ways to bring up the topic of nutrition in the context of normal health pro professional work, but get the conversation around to evidence-based messages to improve um, your, your dietary patterns, but to lower your risk for chronic disease. So, there's just so much information that we already know. Being able to get it into a format that people can access is a real pleasure. The main sort of 
where, place where we house all this information is a website called No Money No Time. So it, it has recipes just like uh, you have on, on your website as well, but we have the hacks, the myths, and then we also um, have some free ebooks. You know, for example, we've got one on food and mood, and the other thing uh, we've got on there is some resources that are in other languages as well.